Did I ever think I'd do a book? No, is the short answer. It was suggested to me by my wife uh, after 20 odd years of doing calligraphy and learning with really good people, going on workshops, that kind of thing. Um, there was there was no real books out there covering the stuff that I was doing, sort of more art rather than text, uh, calligraphy based work. Um, the editing as far as the book was concerned, I just dumped a load of stuff on, um, I think it was Word or yeah, some Word or something like that, uh, dumped all the pages how I thought it looked, looked good, uh, gave them to my brother Stephen who edited, edited it and did everything. And I think I said in the um, acknowledgements that uh, I thanked him and said that he actually made it look like a proper book. Um, because what, what I gave him and what came back are two totally different beasts. Um, uh, it's quite a weird sensation actually having something solid because you, you do all the mock-ups and you, you print stuff out uh, trying to get an idea of, well, this is what it's going to look like, but it's just like on a piece of paper. But when you actually get it in your hands, it's uh, it's a very strange feeling at one of... One of pride that you've created it but also um, you realize how difficult it is without somebody's help who knows the who know the the ropes uh, people would say oh yeah I want to I want to publish a book I'm going to self-publish okay that's all very well but then then where do you go what do you do um, with um, luckily with Stephen and his wife Jackie doing the the editing and, and everything, it's even just the things like sorting out the acknowledgements and the indexing and references and, and all, all that proper book stuff, I wouldn't know where to start. So um, without them, it wouldn't have happened, really. The, um, the speed of it, really, we came to it quite late, decided that we wanted to do a book that was about eight weeks before a big show that I was demonstrating at. Uh, and halfway through I kind of decided, well, I've almost written it, um, I probably haven't got enough money to do it, I, I haven't really got the time I was doing workshops and, and preparing for this big show. So but then with, a, with just over three weeks to go, we'd heard from the printers to say that um, it would take seven working days to, to actually print it, so here's the PDF, here's the book, seven working days. Um, and I think it was just over three weeks when I, I rang Stephen and said, am I too late? I really want to do this, ready for the show. Uh, and he said, yeah, yeah, no problem. Um, and it, it turned out that it wasn't a problem in the end. We, we got it in, we got the stuff to him and he edited it, sent stuff back to me for uh, any final proofings. There was two or three small typos um, that I, I wanted to change, but nothing major. The stuff that he put in and, and altered and moved a few things around, made it more impactful and more meaningful, uh, with a real good flow to the book. So um, that was that was really useful. And we got it back within, I think it was two days to spare before the show. Uh, got it to the show and thankfully sold quite a lot of copies, more than, more than we anticipated. Um, it, it, watching it go up the charts on the Amazon bestseller and the lettering and calligraphy um, sales score thing was uh, again another weird feeling um, to it, it really it's quite a humbling feeling you, you really appreciate the that people are out there and here's my money and give us your book we're really interested in it and it's it's quite a humbling experience but it's it's a nice one uh, and it got to number six so far in the um, the bestseller list in the Amazon lettering click feed bestseller list uh, which was it's uh, yet another proud feeling that uh, enough people have bought it to get it up to that um, that status. I'll probably move from Amazon now to sell it on my own website. I wanted the I wanted the uh, the input just to know I wanted to know that it was a viable proposition. So I, I had um, a hundred printed to start with. I've sold out now. Uh, so I've just got to have a reprint and then start selling them on the website and at my workshops. Um, that kind of thing. Um, what would I say to folks thinking about writing a book? 
I probably say do it, but make sure you've got a good editor. Uh, and I'd recommend my brother. Okay, he's my brother, but um, he's done a damn good job. I'm really, I'm really pleased with it, um, and I think you would be too.